Hello everyone, welcome to another video with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to go over the bank feed section. We're going to talk about how to manage your transactions that are coming in from your linked accounts, and I will give you some tips and tricks on how to handle them. So let's get started. <laughs> Once you have linked your bank accounts or your credit card accounts, you will see your transactions coming in. Now, there are three tabs here where it says for review, categorize, or excluded. For review, these are the transactions that are coming through the bank feed section. Now, this doesn't mean that all bank feeds are posted into QuickBooks or are in your register. So you have to review them and make sure that they get posted into the register. So what does it mean to add or view or match transactions? Well, let's take a look here. When I see one match found, this means that there is a transaction that matches the bank feed um, transaction. So in this case, this credit card expense has been matched to a transaction already in QuickBooks. Now I can always make sure by looking at the amount and by looking at the date that it was in and the date that's already posted in QuickBooks and of course the bank feeds. If it does match the bank feed and it is uh, the same, then I can go ahead and match it. That means that I'm matching it to a transaction that's already in QuickBooks. I will not have two transactions. It is only one. But let's say I was to look at this and I say, okay, well, it's a different transaction. It's not this. I'm going to categorize it. What you're doing here, QuickBooks has identified two matches. As we were able to see, it identified uh, one on the 19th and one on the 12th. So there were two credit card transactions for the same amount, but different dates. So you have to make sure that you're looking at the dates, the amounts, and also the bank fee detail. Now, in this case, I can match it to uh, the 719 transaction because that's what it is. But let's say that... I didn't match it or I didn't think it, it was any of these, then you would click categorize. What that does is that you're going to put the bank fee transaction into the register. So now instead of having just two transactions in QuickBooks, you are going to have three transactions in QuickBooks with the same information. Now in this case, this one is 719, so you will have two transactions dated 719 and 1712. So we have to be very careful that we're not duplicating our transactions and if we're mat and that we're matching them correctly. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and match the 719 to the transaction that's already in QuickBooks on the 719 and I'm going to hit match. If it's, if no matching is coming up and you're unsure whether um, it is in the register, you can click on find a match and this will bring up a, a window where you can actually search this amount. So we can type in here 89.99 and see if QuickBooks brings anything up and make sure that you're being aware of the date. Um, in this case, it's not in, it's not in here, but see, I could show you, let's go in here. Uh, try to find this 19, 1999. If we see that this is not the correct transaction, we can hit find other matches. It takes us to that same window. And if we type in 1999, well, that's the transaction that's coming up. So then we can select it and it will uh, check to see if there's a difference. It will match it to the bank feed uh, that came in and then we can go ahead and save it. So it's really important that you're looking at um, the bank details, the date, the amount. What QuickBooks um, ends up doing, and this is to be aware, as you can see here, two matches, it looks at the 
um, at the mounts. It doesn't look at the name. In this case, this is Pam Sites. So Pam Sites, it's right here. It's already entered. Uh, but there's another transaction with the amount, the same amount of 75. And it doesn't even look at the dates. It's just looking at the amount. So QuickBooks uh, is trying to help you um, in saying, okay, I found two transactions with the same amount. Do you want to match them? What do you want to do? So this is where I have found that many uh, users end up matching it to the wrong account or they end up just an adding another categorization. So you got to be very careful with that. In this case, I don't want to match it to books by Bessie because that's not the bank feed information. It's actually PAM sites. So I'm going to select it and then match it. Once you have matched and you want to review or you want to see what's been categorized or entered into the register, you can click on categorize and then you'll be able to see everything that's been entered into um, the register. Now, let's say that you uh, want to exclude an old transaction because it's just a duplicate or for some reason QuickBooks can't match it. You want to exclude it after you know it's in the register. I've had had circumstances or situations where I couldn't match it to the feed or it wasn't matching or coming up right. I don't know, something happened and I didn't want to have this old transaction in there. So what I did is I excluded it. I just made sure that it was posted into the bank register by entering it manually. And I can enter transactions manually by going to new. I enter it as an expense, check or bill. So you can also use all dates here. You can um, filter by dates. Uh, this month we can look at transactions for this month you can look at you can look at match transactions unmatched transactions using these filters here um, can really help you match or add those transactions um, into your quickbooks register especially if you have hundreds of transactions that you need to go through you can also create bank rules for the bank feeds that are coming in. You can say, well, if it's 76 um, or Chevron, it goes into the gas expense. You can do those types of rules. And as you're going along, QuickBooks will ask you if you want to add those rules. If it's a vendor uh, or a payee, that's a transaction that you, that's coming in often, QuickBooks will see that and will request for you to add it. It's very important that you're always looking at whether QuickBooks is matching them correctly. Unless you have a bank rule to automatically enter them, then of course those get entered directly. But if you're matching a bill payment or you're just going through each transaction, you just want to make sure that you're entering the vendor information correctly, the categorization, which is your chart of accounts correctly. You want to make sure that every transaction has a payee and at a minimum, a category in a payee. If you are job costing, you want to, you can put your uh, jobs here. Um, and you can even add uh, bank details. You can create a rule or exclude from the drop down. Um, of a transaction by clicking at it. You can look, you can do all these details. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that this video has helped you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.